the fuck is up everyone? Hello. Welcome. It's Friday, boy. Thank you for fucking tuning in, man. Much appreciated. Oh, I'm excited for this one, you know. I'm fucking excited, man. This is a new one from Tesseract. This is Luminary from the new album, Sonda. It's out in April. So, yeah, you, you fuckers have been bombarding me with this one. I'm mega excited to hear it. I've held off for the video, which is an absolute bitch, man. It's never a good feeling. But um, I'm sure I'm sure the wait will definitely be worth it. But I absolutely love Tesseract. Um, love Polaris, last release from them. Jammed it to fuck, man. Still do. Still jam it every week. I absolutely love it. Solid album. But, yeah. So, we've got a new one, man. Just got it up here. I just want to go through some information as well for anyone who's not seen this. So, yeah, from the new album, Sonder, um, it's out on 20th of April, which, time flies, it's it's pretty soon, man. Little paragraph, Sonder adds, adds significant firepower to the band's arsenal, blending the harsh abrasiveness of one and progressive eth- ethereal elements of altered state with the accessibility of Polaris. Sonder is streamlined, honest, and direct, with all the trademark Tesseract's dreamy atmospherics and bending grooves that are fucking groovy shit. Boy, vocalist Daniel Tompkins describes Luminary as conceptually exploring a deep and devouring sense of insignificance, which ties into the overall theme and meaning behind Sonda. The album also features an extended and reworked version of last summer's single, Smile. Mmm. There's um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, eight actually, eight tracks, so it's a short one. But uh, man, that doesn't mean fuck all if it's a short album. Yeah, I mean, the track itself's only 3 minutes 14 seconds, man, but I'm getting ready to take off, motherfuckers. I don't know about you. Well, thank you for tuning in, man. If you haven't heard this, then let's get down. One more thing I want to point out, which I thought was hilarious, in the tags on the video, I don't know if you can see it. Um, There. <laughs> the last tag is balls. <laughs> this is Tesseract Luminary from Sonder. Let's go. I'm so fucking excited, man. Friday, though. You ladies and gentlemen, I've got a good weekend coming up, man. Oh, yeah! That groove fucking intense, man. Oh yeah! Hey fucking boy right there man. Ain't many better British vocalists than Daniel Tompkins man. That atmosphere though. Yeah! Very, um, very familiar sound, man. It's one who jammed the fuck out the last album. This is very much the continuation from Polaris for me. It's a good thing, boy. Got like little vibes from survival going on, man. I realised the artwork was changing actually, but you get the man eh? Yeah! Yeah! Your fucking heads! Uh, I'm so fucking excited for this man. Yeah, boy. Oh, 
Oh, that's fucking filthy, man. That's almost a mule level filth. Fuck. That groove's intense as fuck. Holy fuck. Yeah. It's a new one from Tesseract. Luminary. From Sonda coming in April. Holy shit, man. So, like I said before, and I've been... Um, I've been jamming Polaris for ages now. I've got it on physical release over there. And it's just, I get such a special vibe from it, man. So uplifting, so powerful. As I said during the video there, name me a better British vocalist than Daniel Tompkins, man. Fucking ridiculous. Um, but yeah, so going back to Polaris, <clears throat> for me, it was, I was maybe expecting a continuation of Polaris more than a let's say like an evolution from it and that for me man was it did sound familiar to the stuff i heard on plows and for me that's very good man when i was listening to it i um it was certain parts going through the verse and it reminded me of survival of polaris um had a very similar f vibe to it which is a great thing for me <laughs> um whether some people might have expected something completely different i don't know I, i'd understand if you did uh, completely but i was getting those polaris vibes from it which I'm going to say for the 50th time, fucking really happy with that. But that was cool, man. The intro and the outro were fucking savage, boy. <laughs> wow, that heavy, intense, dirty fucking groove, man. Wow, just throwing that shit down. That was fucking huge. Absolutely huge. The the verse was great, man. Tons and tons of atmosphere. Tons of atmosphere. Um, it was a difficult one to move your fucking head to actually at times because it was switching itself up every now and again. Yeah, man. I mean, you, you know, you fuckers know why. I'm not the most technical of guys, man. So I'm not going to give you the proper musician speech, but you know what I mean. It was it was all over the place in terms of switching itself up time wise. Really interesting, actually. But um, it's one of those where I'm, it's going to take a good three listens until I'm fully you know, fully engaged into moving with it, man, which is good, though, you know, I work on it, man, I get better, but it was a great, great first listen for me, really cool, um, where does that sit in the album, I, I've got something I was thinking when I was listening to it, right, let's see, so that's the, oh, fuck, that's the opening track, okay, I was about to say, I could see that sitting between maybe, like, three or four, track three or four, but opening, that is interesting, wow, Fuck. Um, so, yeah, God knows what's going to come after that, man. King Orbital Juno. I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm just teasing myself now. I'm so excited. Um, last point, actually. Anyone think that the, the artwork reminds you of Destiny a little bit? Reminded me of Destiny, man, seeing it like that. The font, the, um, obviously, the circles with, which within Destiny would be like planets. But, yeah, I don't know why. It just reminded me of... Um, of Destiny, I thought it was pretty cool as well. But yeah, I love Tesseract. Let me know below what you think. Um, like I said, I think you're either going to like it because it follows on. For, in my opinion, it follows on from the last album really nicely. Or you're not because you expected something completely different. But let me know below, man. I'm, I'm excited to see what you think. But I love Tesseract. I fucking love Daniel Tompkins. I'm excited for April. Thank you all for tuning in. See you tomorrow.